the need to pass and the need to be right is like overrides absolutely everything. Absolutely, absolutely everything. Um, I read such an interesting, I read such an interesting thing uh, that they did studies on, you know, Professor Carol Dweck does, you know, has done enormous amounts of work on, on mindset, the stuff that, you know, the stuff that I base a lot of, a lot of my teaching on, a lot of stuff that I do on. And they did tests where they, they hooked up fixed mindset to people like me, <laughs> people like us. Um, they hooked up fixed mindsetters and growth mindsetters to um, EEG machines, MRIs, to measure, uh, to measure brain activity. And they gave each group problems that they needed to solve um, and then discussed with them whether or not they were right or wrong. And it was really, really fascinating that in the growth mindsetters, when they were working on the problem, there was a lot of brain activity. The MRIs, the EEGs were picking up a lot of brain activities when they, when they were working on the problem. When they were, being, when they were discussing, when they were told whether or not they were right, there was a lot less. There was a lot less brain activity because growth mindsetters are more interested in the problem than with than being right. So they were interested in the problem and they were engaged with the problem, which means the brain was going while they were solving the problem. Conversely, in the fixed mindset group, when they were busy working on the problem and going through the problem, there was very little brain activity. So there was very little engagement with the problem itself. But when it came to telling them whether they were right or wrong, the brain, you know, their brains lit up like a Christmas tree because the focus for a fixed mindset is not on the information. It's not on the problem. It's on, was I right? And am I okay? And am I still smart? Does this mean I'm okay? So we, we have a tendency, and I could definitely, definitely, definitely acknowledge and recognize this for myself, um, and so, so, so many students that I've worked with, we're not that interested in taxation. What we're interested in is being right about the question. What we're interested in is getting the question right. Can you kind of relate to that? Because that was definitely how I felt. And it's how, you know, working, with, working with a lot of students, this is, you know, this is stuff that I've come across. Like, I don't actually, I'm not actually interested <laughs> in the stuff that I'm studying. We, we dropped curiosity and interest a long time ago. If nothing else, I mean, the sheer volume <laughs> of work that we have to cover, you know, has, you know, is, is going to kill curiosity, right? But the reality is that our focus is on being right. Am I right? Am I okay? And it's not because we're ego driven. It's not because we're arrogant. It's not because we think we're so amazingly smart. It's because we're so worried we're going to fail. If I don't get this right, does it mean that I'm not smart enough? Does it mean I'm not going to be able to do this? I'm going to fail. So every day, every study session, most of our mental energy is on, am I going to get this right today? Is this going to be right? And again, that means that your mental energy, you're not actually focusing on the information. You know, we're not, we're not actually thinking and visualizing and making the information personal because we're so busy worrying about whether or not we're right. Even if you are interested, we just don't have, we don't have the time to get comfortable with it. In terms of just understanding what's going on in our brains and where our mental energy is going and that type of thing, I find that really fascinating.